many attempts at reconstructing um, the Requiem of Mozart, trying to finish it in various different ways. Um, and I suppose the trend has been to undervalue the first finished version, the Zussmeyer version, which was the version that was first performed uh, as the complete work back in 1793. So uh, I was interested in guessing what it must have sounded like on that first occasion. Um, what was it like when people didn't know the Mozart Requiem? Uh, how, how could it have affected people in the way it did to cause such a wonderful long train of performances over the succeeding decades and centuries, in fact. been interested then in going actually back to the first experience of the Requiem, not the most ideal version necessarily, or the most complete version, but what was the first experience version, because that to me seems a very important way, uh, or important part of the story that's, that's been missing. few decades um, about Baroque music performance in particular has been over the size of choirs and the constitution of choirs um, and this debate goes on and on and possibly on. Um, what is actually clear though I think from parts in the time of Bach and Handel is that the soloists uh, are the leaders of the choir generally and that what you do if you want to make the choir bigger is add singers to the soloists rather than adding soloists to the choir. So the notion then of having a, a sort of separate body of people called the choir and a separate body of people called the soloists who have nothing to do with one another, in fact, I think it's quite the other way around, that the, that the soloists are very much involved uh, in singing in the choir uh, and leading, indeed, their respective line. Uh -huh. 